Hey guys, it's Marshall from Going Gear. We're here at SHOT Show 2012 in Las Vegas. We're here with Ron from Surefire. How are you doing today, Ron? Great, Marshall. Great to see you. I was wondering if you could uh, show us some of your tactical products. Yeah, absolutely. I'd be happy to. All right, let's take a look. All right. Uh, Surefire, historically, we're known for pushing some boundaries. We invented the laser aiming sight. We invented the weapon light. We invented the tactical flashlight. We've pushed the suppressor industry, now the magazine industry. Uh, we're getting back to our roots here in a sense, pushing the illumination tools industry. But we're doing it with a product line that's never been touched before, it's never existed. We've created another one, that's wrist mounted illumination. A lot of patrol officers still can't mount weapon lights to their duty guns. It do also doesn't always make sense to occupy your weak hand or your secondary hand with a flashlight when pairing it with a pistol or for simple utility work. So what Surefire has done is, over the last two years is develop two models, but specifically one model of wrist-mounted illumination. What you'll see here, like I said, two years of work, but a lot of cool features that not only have never been done in terms of a category, but in terms of integrating into illumination tool, period. Uh, what you can't see internally is the accelerometer and the gyroscope. Custom built for Surefire, the accelerometer is something you'll find on an iPhone when you're sliding your finger across the screen or playing an app, or excuse me, working with an app or playing a game. What it does is it senses, uh, senses movement at certain speeds and then the gyroscope obviously senses direction. So the tactical application for this light would be is in a wrist mounted format you would have a purposeful movement that activates both the gyroscope and the accelerometer in conjunction, meaning a movement, say, of flicking the wrist, you could program the light so it would activate. The benefit between having a purposeful activation versus something that just is caused through kinetic movement is everyday utility wouldn't cause the light to activate. Whereas if you were to train with a purposeful movement, say, drawing the pistol and breaking your wrist, breaking your weak hand, if you will, so that you're accelerating your wrist at a certain speed then also pitching it upside down so both the accelerometer and the gyroscope work together and are tuned to that movement would activate the light at the tactical level and that would prevent it from accidentally activating through utilitarian movements or something like a mag change so that's something we're programming this current prototype has the accelerometer but not the gyroscope in it because the gyroscope is being developed specifically for this product like i said it's never been used in an illumination tool before surefire will be the first the, the switch on here is interesting it's just a touch switch is that going to be absolutely production so there's manual function what we're looking to do is either use a single touch pad for manual function and where it would be a kinetic switch uh, that would require uh, some amount of conductivity from a fingertip rather than just you know sh a shock or vibration right. or a double tap feature. So what you'll see uh, on this watch, for example, which has an integral analog watch is the double tap function is what activates the light rather than a single tap. Okay. So you have to have a double tap. Whereas this one currently is just programmed manually for a single tap. It's something that could either, excuse me, could either be programmed or will come out of the box. It's, we're playing with it. It's a concept piece right now, but it is something we're moving forward with. It's two years in the making and uh, we don't plan on stopping now. And are the production units going to have the Tracer watches in there? <laughs> <laughs> That's just a placeholder at this point. Um, you know, more or less pulled off of somebody's wrist, sure. worked it into the program. Uh, this watch face size is pretty standard across a lot of platforms uh, and platforms that would make sense to integrate onto the white light only variant. But we're also looking at digital possibilities as well as some other analog uh, options that would require less space through a kinetic battery rather than an actual powered battery. So is the idea to have the watch already incorporated into the, to the unit or is that going to be uh, an option? Yeah, it would be two separate models. There would be a illumination variant only and then something that's obviously, you could argue, more practical despite uh, the apparent size of this one. But if you didn't want to wear both a watch and the wrist light, you know, or you didn't want to take the place sure, the of option. just the watch with the wrist light, then something that would be integral. That's really cool. All right, Ron, thanks for your time. Thanks, Marshall. Thanks for coming by. Have a great shot show. You too.